Hi everyone. Right, what I'm going to show you now is how to make a wall plaque. Um, and that's using a vintage picture. That's a beautiful picture that I have there. Um, I did buy, it's, I think it's called block printing. Uh, and I bought that from eBay. And first job I'm going to do is just to tidy the edges up. Um, it does have uh, like a film, stiff film backing. Um, it's printed onto a cotton material. Um, and I just peel that off and then just glue the picture onto the plaque. Now what I'm using for the plaque is an A4 uh, piece of felt um, and the laces that I'm going to be using, uh, some are from Tressor's Deluxe uh, and some are just from the stash that I, I buy from eBay here and there or wherever I get my laces from. So right now I've just got a collection of laces out. Um, some that are going to be cut into appliques or you can get appliques from the laces and I love that I didn't use it I was going to and I changed my mind it's got pearl beads on the bottom of it and I think that was from Tressel's Deluxe so here's the A4 L, uh, felt, <laughs> felt. Um, and I'm about to try and peel back the backing of that but and then I remember I've got to put the back piece of the felt uh, lace on the felt so what I'm going to do now is just speed that up a little bit Right, here we are. Um, I'm just going to glue that down. Now, you don't need to use a lot of glue. Uh, I just use the tip of my glue gun, and a little bit of glue actually holds better than a lot. And as you can see, I just really quickly... I don't press, put a lot of pressure on the glue gun itself. Um, you just need to gentle pressure on the, you know, the, the clip thing for the glue gun, and then just lay it down. I work section by section because it's easier uh, and you make sure that it all glues down properly especially when you're working with a large piece and I'm literally just brushing the tip of the glue gun over uh, the actual piece of material now what I'm going to do is to put the um, attach the picture and it's just using the hot glue gun really I could have cut out um, the backing what I've laid down first uh, because to me I've wasted what I've done but it doesn't matter now what I'm using is um, it's a crocheted gathered lace elasticated lace I do have it uh, I think there's some left in the shop and um, I'm just framing that picture. Now I didn't use it to go around the edges because it's quite stiff is that one, uh, the, the actual elasticated section. So I'm not gonna ruin the picture just by trying to um, edge it round. A well, you know what I mean, to place it around a corner. But now we've got that done. Um, I've got some applique trim, which is from uh, Tressel's Deluxe. And I'm just cutting out the little bits and pieces. And, and what we do is start to build your picture. There's another type, um, which I had, and it's, um, to me, it reminded me of a frame. So what I did use for this particular piece uh, was a cameo to sit in the middle, which you'll see shortly. Like, again, gluing it down section by section. I mean, that way you don't miss anything. just tidying that section up and then the one I originally cut uh, I'm just placing at the top in the corner I decide to use one of these flowers it's a rosette trim flower um, but you'll see me take it off I changed my mind it wasn't quite big enough for the project And they're like a pressed satin leaf um, that I had. I don't sell them, but I will if I can. Now, 
I decide to make my own handmade flowers. You know me, I'm always I'm a flower designer and, and I, I absolutely love making my flowers. And this project actually needed handmade flowers. And gluing it together does give it a professional finish. Hand stitching, although it's good, you can actually see the stitching, but with a glue you can't. So I've now attached that, and now what I'm going to do is choose another lace to make the smaller flower that goes inside that one. So I'm using um, a Clooney lace. Um, hopefully I'll get this in the store as well. Um, I do have an account with the Cloonies. I'm doing a really, really nice gathered flower for the centre. If only we could sew that quick. <laughs> but it does make a beautiful, beautiful flower. And I must use my pearl strands. You know what I'm like. Um, I love the elegance that a pearl strand will make on a flower. Now I've left the centre for now so I haven't decided what centre I'm going to put on. This other lace with the ribbons on um, is Tressor's Deluxe uh, and they have such beautiful, beautiful laces. And I only did a uh, glue on the bow sections at the back, just little dots right across. Now I decided to put the bling in, I wanted matching bling. Then decide I don't like the flower. <laughs> the top one, so I uh, take that off. Yeah, there you go. Now, um, that looked great, did that cameo, because it looked like it was framed by that, you know, like an ornate frame. It was absolutely stunning. I've just got bits and pieces on my desk, so I decide now to um, attach lots of bits and pieces. But I do leave some of the felt showing I love to see everything that I've put on a project I know it looks lopsided at the moment but it, you'll see what I do in a minute and I actually should have put the lace on before the leaves but never mind who cares <laughs> it all turns out great in the end See, now I decide to add some more bling to the um, side panel, which really does set it off nicely. Here we go. What goes on will come off. And I make another flower. <laughs> Right, I'm just finishing the flower off and then I attach the first one that I did onto that one once I put it onto the background. I decide not to make a separate middle um, like I did with the one below because it looked just as good and the colours match. And there you go, it's uh, more or less finished. Although I do put some more flowers on. And of course, the pearl spray. You know, it looks absolutely adorable and very elegant. There we go, just find the pearls to go into the uh, flower heads and um, we're almost done. Without overdoing it, because I did want to use one of these bows, let me just see. 
Yes, just there. Like that. And I am not taking anything away from anything else. You can still see it all. So there you go. <coughs> um, need a little bit of uh, thread, like I said, uh, silk or satin, whichever I've got. Right, I've got some of this because you're not going to need much uh, to hang it. So I think I'll just double this. like that okay and there you go just gonna glue one end glue that together like that turn the picture over and I'm gonna hang mine here quite a, a fair way down and that gives that lots of support you just pull that back like that work out the length that you require or you want to bring that and I only need that much. So let's just pop that back there. Hold that back. Let's trim that off. Oops, it is. There we go. And there you go. <laughs> Rather like a handbag, isn't it? But that's fine to hang on somebody's wall. So, hope you like that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, you don't overdo them. Um, but have fun. Play with what you've got. Take care. Bye-bye for now.